What's up guys, this is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. If you have a problem with the Passport hard drive, watch this video, you'll see how we can solve this issue for you. Uh, this device had landed from a friend of ours. No, this device had landed from a friend of ours that uh, sent, it in, sent it in recently. Uh, the device is making clicking sounds. Uh, those who are not new to this channel, uh, should probably know by now that that most likely is related to a uh, failed head assembly. And the head assembly is the part inside of the drive that performs reading and writing off of your data. So this device I've already started to do a little bit of troubleshooting on and uh, just to put um, sort of like a concrete conclusion in, ter in terms of what can and what can be done. I have to do this one last attempt. So I used the f first donor that I used was, I suspected that it was fairly weak, uh, but I didn't want to use a perfectly fine donor at first because I wasn't sure uh, about how far the client wants to take this recovery and I didn't want to ruin a perfectly good donor drive uh, to something that potentially may not get approved. But the customer is really interested in the data and uh, the case has been approved and we're moving forward with the recovery on this unit. So um, as usual on the right hand side I lock my patient drive, on the left hand side I lock the donor drive. Access uh, to the sectors. That's sector zero. And just to confirm, that's the last sector there. The drive was trying to put up a little bit of a fight. Uh, on head one, it is reading really, 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 really bad in the uh, area where the uh, catalog is located. This, is, uh, the, this drive is formatted for Mac. So uh, as I was extracting the data from it, it was skipping quite a lot in, the, um, uh, in that section for head zero, but head one, two, and three are reading perfect. And currently I'm just building up a map of all of the files that uh, I was able to locate by scanning the catalog. And uh, looks like the drive is pretty much full. It's, uh, I believe it's got like around 800 gigs on it. Uh, in that situation, I usually jump to the end and I start reading backwards. The end of the drive is gonna be much, much easier and stress-free for the unit. When the structure is available, it will clearly show what files are affected, uh, which files are complete, which files are not complete, and so on and so forth. So um, in that case, I, I do suspect that the drive is gonna have really good results by the time the imaging is done, and uh, the customer should be happy with uh, what this recovery will bring. Uh, most likely that head zero is struggling because uh, there must have been several attempts made in order to get this drive going before heads actually died. Uh, it's not an unusual situation where the drive ends up at the computer shop before it gets here. 
because um, you know they have some software that they may want to try on it or something like that and usually it's kind of productive it's better to tackle it with proper tools right at the beginning than try different things in hopes that maybe it will work so I'm hoping that you guys like this uh, presentation and uh, if you have any special requests or comments please do put them in the comment section below if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and notification uh, to be notified every time the new video drops but thank you very much for your continued support guys big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode